It's your boy, Big Calf, still repping that seven day genetics, and y'all know how I do it. I work out seven days. Seven days. Now back to my segment that I call The Real Truth, in which I talk about things that are important to me. Sometimes good, sometimes bad, always informative. I just hope that you get something out of it. And what I wanna talk about today is making sure that you take care of yourself and you make sure your body is functioning the way it's supposed to. So the reason I bring this up is because um, I haven't had a checkup in a little while and I was feeling tired and everything. So I decided to go see my doctor, try to figure out what the hell was going on. Come to find out, it's kind of weird, me as a black man, this amount of melanin, and I have low vitamin D. My doctor was really shocked. And, you know, it it's now becoming a common thing, but before it wasn't a common thing, usually that people didn't see that. But to be honest, as, as one of the sun people, um, it's temperate here, so in the wintertime, I stay my ass indoors, and I don't get that much sun, sunlight. Plus, I'm a vegetarian, so I'm not getting a lot of the foods that are high in vitamin D. And I don't drink milk, so you see where this is going. So now, because I wasn't paying attention, I have to make sure I take vitamin D pills to get my vitamin D level back up so I get that strength back. And I've been taking it for a few weeks now, and I, and I must admit, I do feel a difference. So what you know what this is all about is just taking care of yourself. Go to your doctor, make sure everything is okay. If you feel like something could be wrong, go get it checked out. Don't wait, because all of a sudden you rot, fall apart, whatever it may be. And I had a video about this before, but still, it's majorly important. Like, you might I don't know if you guys can see this sunlight, but um, I'm gonna make sure, no matter what, I get some of this sunlight today. Um, even if it's just opening my uh, blinds just to get the sunlight in, I'm gonna try to get it because I gotta be 100% healthy, man. All it takes is one thing and it can knock you off or put you in a position to where you can't do the things you used to be able to. And let me tell you something, your body can fall in such disarray so quickly that you're assed out before you realize what's even going on. And your body, to, be, to tell you the truth, by the time it tells you that something is wrong, it's been an issue. It's like being dehydrated. By the time you realize that you're thirsty, your body has known it for a long time. You just weren't privy to it. So you become thirsty, like, whoa, I need to drink something. Your body's like, shit, yeah, you really need to drink something. Point is, you can't always just use just your body as an indicator of things. Just get your normal checkups. And like I said, if something is feeling like it's not right, don't wait for it to get better. Go get it checked out. You only get one of these bodies. Keep it healthy. Keep it 100%. And if your doctor tells you something, they're not God. So here, here's another important thing. Get a second opinion. Person wants to start cutting on you or doing some shit that seems crazy, go get a second opinion. Don't, if your doctor say, oh, you need to lose a toe, go find out from somebody else. You need to lose a finger, go find out from somebody else. But in the end, get your levels checked out. Find out if you have any issues with your vitamin D level, uh, because the doctors could give you a full ba uh, battery of tests and figure out what's wrong. And it doesn't take long. They take some blood. They take a lot of it, but that's it. It's not like you gotta stay in there for hours and run this and do that. No, 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 no. It's take some blood from you, check your levels and everything. Now, yeah, at some point you gotta get some other exams and you may not wanna get those, but just on the regular, get your blood tested uh, make sure there's nothing going on with you uh, that you don't know about and you don't want to be surprised by something that's really horrible that it's too late to do something about. You don't want to hear these words. But if we could have caught this sooner, maybe now nah. get yourself checked out. Make sure you're healthy. And the reason I bring this up is, like I said, me, I just found out my vitamin D level was ridiculously low. I had no idea, but it makes sense because, like I said, I don't eat any meat, so I don't get any vitamin D from the meat. I don't drink milk, so I don't get vitamin D from the milk. To be honest, I take a multivitamin, but that's still not giving me enough vitamin D. And then here and there, I have a little bit of cheese, but that's not enough. So in the end, get your shit checked out. But anyways, it's your boy, Big Kel. If you like what you heard, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. 
If you're not the type to subscribe, that's cool too. Just make sure you watch my damn videos and make sure you signed in when you do. Also, if you have an idea for an upcoming video, go ahead and post it in the comments below. And if it hits me here like it hits you, I'll be definitely sure to make a video about it. But if not, then I won't. And I hope you don't get butt hurt because I won't give a shit because I don't have to agree on what bothers me like it bothers you. So don't take that a personal way. Don't take it to mean that I don't give a shit how you feel. Just know that I don't have to feel the way you do. But anyways, it's your boy, Big Kelv. And as usual, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.